shooting guard, Keon Ellis. At power forward, Keegan Curry. At the other forward position, Tamar DeRozan. At center, Demontis Sabonis. At the other guard position, the Aaron Fox. Head coach of the visiting team, Mike Brown. the Sacramento Kings. Hello basketball fans, Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. DeRozan and Murray in at the forward spot. Then it's Demonis Sabonis. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Ellis in at the shooting guard position. And for Utah, Sexton and Markkinen out on the wing. Then there's Keontae George. Then there's John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the four. These two teams love to share the ball. Now, Doris, you were a gifted passer, a conference assist leader. What makes a great playmaker? Well, look at Brian Anderson doing his homework on his partner here. I think, obviously, you have to have some vision. You've got to have a handle to be able to get to the spots you want to on the floor to deliver the pass at the appropriate angle. But maybe most importantly, you have to have a desire to make your teammates better. And DeRozan gets it to go. Don't you love the stop and pop jumper from DeRozan? This guy can be such a deadly shooter when given space. Marketing against DeRozan. Oh, Fox with a steal. Back come the Kings in transition. And it's Fox with the jam. And just good hustle. Always nice to get an easy bucket on the break. We call that one the do-it-yourself kit. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I briefly spoke with Will Hardy, and they have to deal with one of the quickest guys in the league in De'Aaron Fox. Coach told me it's almost impossible to stay in front of De'Aaron, so we'll try to give whoever is guarding him help, especially if Fox gets rolling. We'll see how that plan works. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Here's Sabonis. After the basket by Utah. To the inside. Shot clock at six. And it's DeRozan missing. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. For three, Sexton. It's rebounded by Sabonis. 
The Kings have gone two of three from the floor. Here's Fox. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Grant, when you talk about De'Aaron Fox, what an exciting player. That he is, and just now entering the prime years of his career. We've seen him make great strides the last few years, and it's scary trying to think just how much he can still improve. That free throw misses. And looking at Fox, a microwave score and Tasmanian Devil running up and down the floor. A fun player to watch. And he sinks the second. Doris, I'm going to give you three names here. John Stockton, Carl Malone, Pete Maravich. Which one is the greatest player to ever wear a Jazz uniform? I'm not going greatest player, B.A. I'm going greatest tandem in the history of the Utah Jazz. John Stockton and Carl Malone in pick and roll play were poetry in motion. Here's Ellis. Pass to Fox. And he drops it in from the low post. Fox has got his second basket of the night. A 6'3 point guard. Fox has solid size at the one, and it really helps him out inside. George feels it out a bit. Collins with a screen on Fox to the paint. And Collins with the slam. I mean, defending this team, you have to track Collins in the pick and roll. He'll hurt you if you lose him. The bonus outside, driving to the basket. The basket's good, off the assist from Fox. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And we've got a timeout called by Will Hardy. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Here's Collins. Pass to Hendricks. George outside. Drops in the three. George has got five now. And there's a nice rhythm to his three-point shot. You know, George has a confident stroke. DeRozan looks it over. It's a bonus against Collins. Fox outside from downtown. Count it from distance. Give him eight points now. This is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Markkinen. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Throw it anywhere near Collins. He'll take care of the rest. Putting his athleticism in length to perfect use. Here's Fox. Sabonis outside. Marketing against DeRozan. Fox outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Murray is screen on George. Here's Fox. And another basket for Sacramento. A versatile offensive weapon. Fox is good at sizing up defenses and taking what they give up. Outside Sexton. Back to George. Collins with a screen on Fox. To the middle. And Collins with the slam. Oh, a high flyer. Collins playing above the rim and then coming down with force. Pass to Ellis. Back to Fox. The three from DeRozan. Another three for Sacramento. You 
don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Hendricks. Back to George. On the wing, Sexton. Collins a screen. Sexton with it. And Sabonis picks him up defensively. Here's Ellis. No made baskets yet. Here's Fox. Uses the glass to finish the layup. There's some contact there, but Fox just refuses to let that hold him back. Jazz trail by eight. And so, Will Hardy calls for the timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Well, Grant, the Kings one of those up-and-coming teams that are knocking at the door. Yeah, they have some stars, B.A. They have some great, great role players, too. Part of their problem is they're in the Western Conference. It's so hard to just make the play-in tournament in that conference. Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. The Kings also with a sub. Malik Monk's checked in for Ellis. Sexton passes to George. On the wing, Sexton. Defended by Murray. Back to George. Six on the shot clock. Kessler, a screen on Fox. Shoots. Rebound by the Kings. DeRozan outside. Stolen by Collins. George with it. Fox picks him up. Marketing from long range. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got three assists in the game. George against Fox. Here's DeRozan. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Mar DeRozan, an impressive scorer who takes relatively few three-point shots, Greg. Yeah, the arc is not his primary focus. He'd rather pick you apart in the mid-range, but he does it so consistently that the points pile up quick. The first free throw is good. Well, the Jazz are one of just 10 NBA franchises to never win a championship, Grant. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to believe considering they had the fourth best winning percentage in NBA history. Think about it. If it weren't for one Michael Jordan, they'd probably have two rings. DeRozan hits them both. And the Kings have held tough. But it seems like the West has gotten tougher, Greg. Well, what's the saying? If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And the Kings have to find that next level. For three, George. Rebounded. Demonis Sabonis. Sabonis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Fox. Yeah, just a solid play by Murray. He knows where to get his shots. George passes to Collins. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. And the layup is good off the glass. Markkinen's got his second bucket of the night. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Fox outside. DeRozan outside. Outside Murray. From the arc. The rebound by Markkinen. Jazz trail by seven. Pass to Collins. Back to Markkinen. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Now Sabonis. Outside Monk. Murray, a screen on George. Here's Monk. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian. The Jazz are making progress. 
Coach Will Hardy said this team has shown grit and character and has developed a lot of confidence. When we're going through game preparation, the players walk away knowing if they do certain things, they can win. That's a big step in the right direction. A bright future, Allie. Thank you. And it's the Kings with the ball. Following the bucket by Utah. Outside Murray. DeRozan against Collins. Just five to shoot. Double team on Fox. Goes up at the elbow. Here's Sabonis. Out to Fox. Fires for three. They get it again. Monk for three. The shot won't fall. And so Markkinen will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. It's a five-point game. Pass to George. They double him with Monk. Markkinen outside. Three-pointer. Utah, the rebound. Kessler finds Markkinen. Drills it from deep. Markkinen's got ten points in the game. Well, this has always been Lowry Markkinen's calling card, right? A seven-footer who can space the floor with that three-point shooting ability. Sabonis with a screen on George. Here's Fox. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Kessler, a screen on Fox. To the inside. Kessler with a bucket. Walker. They're Kessler. punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Sacramento has gone two of five from deep. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Over Kessler. That's short off the rim. Utah trailing here. Outside Sexton. Down low. Here's Markkinen. He nails it. And we're tied. 12 points for him. How about that? Markkinen able to take the contact and play through it. Big time finish. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Fox. On the wing, Murray. Now here's Sabonis. The three-pointer off the mark. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Marking it outside. To the paint. Here's Sexton. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Malik Monk picks one up. Well, when you talk about the most underrated players in the league, Doris, Sexton has to be in the conversation. Well, let's begin with the fact that he's an absolutely fearless scorer, a tough competitor, an improved facilitator. There's grit, determination. He's willing to get into you defensively. He is somebody that will compete on the defensive end. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. You know, Grant, looking at the career of Colin Sexton, he had a huge third season. Average 24 a game. Yeah, B.A., and unfortunately, Colin hurt his knee early during his fourth year. Had season-ending surgery, but we've seen Sexton make a full comeback and just a dynamic scoring guard. And so he makes both from the line. Doris, when we talk about home court advantages, the Jazz have amongst the best. They do, B.A., you have to play at altitude. They're also a little bit isolated as well, so travel is hard. Let me tell you this, their fan base is loud. L-O-U-D. Sexton passes to Clarkson. And it's Sexton. That time on the assist by Clarkson. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. Monk against Clarkson. Pass to Lyles. And here's Sabonis. Well, Grant, in the spring of 2024, a remarkable streak ended. Tomatis Sabonis had recorded 61 consecutive double-doubles. Yeah, it was the longest streak since the merger back in 1976. Now, Sabonis has led the NBA in rebounding multiple years. Plus, he has averaged eight assists in a season. So that is big-time production.
Free throw drops for Sabonis. You know, it's such a pleasure to watch DeMontis Sabonis play the game. Yes, he's got absolutely God-given talent, but he also has an incredible understanding and feel for the game, and he plays it the right way. Lowry Markkinen's checked in for Utah. Collier comes in for Sexton. And Sabonis drops them both. 43 seconds left in the opening quarter. Kessler, a screen on Monk. Clarkson against Monk. Pass to Kessler. Inside. Here's Collier. Puts up a three. Count it. One for one to start the game. It's not just the decision making. It's the ability to put the pass where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. Mr. Markinen, well done, sir. Now here's Sabonis. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Shot clock at six. Oh, it makes it with the kiss. Sabonis has got six. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game. But we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. And so it's Laurie Markkinen making things happen for Utah. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Jazz. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Taking a look at the Kings. Kevin Herter out there with Trey Lyles. Then it's Malik Monk. Then it's Damana Sabonis. And it's McLaughlin in at the point. Now here's Monk. Yet to see a basket. Here's Sabonis. Back to Monk. Sabonis with a screen on Clarkson. Monk for three. Utah grabs the miss. Marking in left side. Here's Clarkson. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And the Jazz lead by five. Well, the Kings shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Pass to Sabonis. He's off on that one. Good D by Kessler. Utah leading by five. Clarkson outside. Now here's Markkinen. Over Herter. Markkinen misses. For Sacramento, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Monk against Clarkson. Here's Sabonis. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Grant, with all the parity and competition in the league today, there are still those teams piling up losses. Yeah, B.A., and with teams like the Thunder excelling, it's almost like youth is no longer an excuse. But some rebuilds take longer than others. Free throw, no good. Sensible is checked in for Mills. Ellis is checked in for the Kings. He hits the second from the line. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. 
Monk against Clarkson. Pass to Kessler. And here's Markkinen. Can't get it to fall. That miss makes him five for nine. Kings trail by four. Monk passes to Ellis. Back to Monk. Sabonis with a screen on Clarkson. Monk for three. Connects Monk. from downtown. Monk. Monk's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Clarkson against Monk. Pass to Hendricks. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. Kings ball. The Kings have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Ellis passes to Herter. Here's Monk. The shake. And that's two points Money. on the layup. Monk. Monk's got five points in the quarter. Plays like that, so easy for him. Clarkson outside. Pass to Hendricks. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Got a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Kings. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense. Getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. And boy, have they started out quick. Running the floor, taking advantage of their speed. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Pass to Ellis. Here's Sabonis. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Sabonis has got nine points. This guy's a skilled interior scorer. There's height, there's great shot selection. Sabonis doing work right now. Clarkson finds Kessler. Back to Clarkson. Now here's Markkinen. Over Herder. And another miss by Utah. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Over Markkinen. Herder can't hit. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's the three. Markkinen misses. And so Monk will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. his third bucket. He's three for six now. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Jazz trail by three. And here's Clarkson. Pass to Markkinen. Over to the left wing. Here's Hendricks. Back to Markkinen. Just five on the clock. Here's Clarkson. Yes, it's good. Clarkson's got his second basket of the game. Jordan Clarkson showing the ability to put the ball on the deck and make a play. Clarkson against Monk. Lyles a screen. Floats one up. Monk with the bucket. Getting it done inside. He's got nine. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Pass to Kessler. Here's Hendricks. Marking it inside. Herder defending. And it goes as the official calls the foul. And he'll shoot one more at the line. 
And when you talk about guards who can really attack in the lane, Jordan Clarkson is on that list, Doris. PA, there are just certain guys who are comfortable operating in tight windows. Clarkson's mindset is score. He's got a great sense for where and when to pull up into his shot. He can burn you from three. Little bit streaky, but boy, he can really get on a hot streak. And it's tied up with that one. And at this stage of his career, Clarkson really knows his role. A highly effective scorer who looks to decimate defenses. Now here's Fox. He's got 14. Here's Sabonis. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Sabonis has got 11. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. And so Will Hardy calls for the timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Well, without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying all his skills today. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy scoring at will, and they've had no answer. Murders checked in for the Kings. Once again. Pass to Sensabaugh. Now Kessler. Clarkson outside. And De'Aaron Fox picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Here's Clarkson. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Clarkson's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. The Kings have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Here's Ellis. No points yet. Sabonis with a screen on Clarkson. Box for three. Collins with the rebound. The Jazz have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Sensible. Pass to Marketed. Oh, Marketed powers through the contact inside. Well, you can see how impactful Lowry Marketed can be with that size and skill offensively. He is too good. Here's Ellis. Outside Herder. From outside the arc. Utah with the rebound. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Market and misses. Sacramento has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Shot from 12. And it's DeRozan missing. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Clarkson with the ball. And Sabonis picks him up defensively. Kessler with a bucket. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. On the wing, DeRozan. Outside Herder. Pass to DeRozan. Five to shoot. 13 feet out. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got four rebounds now. Down low. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. DeMar DeRozan, his first personal. Utah shooting their sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. A different look for Utah. Hendricks has checked in for Kessler. Sexton comes in for Sensabaugh. And it's Keontae George in for Clarkson. And the Kings also make it a change. Lenz checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free 
Free throw is good from Collins. Kings trail by seven. Here's Lynn. Pass to Fox. DeRozan outside. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. The Jazz have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Sexton finds George. Here's Collins. Defended by DeRozan. Here's Sexton. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. They're beginning to take control now, and this could be a crucial point in the game. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. What's up? Sexton, no good on the free throw. And Fox has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by nine. Unloads from 13. That is now his seventh field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. Smart play by Fox. If you can't find penetration, take what you can get. Kicks it out to Markham. Here's Collins. Glenn pulls it in. Kings trail by seven. To the inside. And so the ball out of bounds. DeRozan touched it last. Sabonis, he's checked in for Sacramento. Keegan Murray comes in for Herter. So it's Utah now. Sexton with it. Six points for him. Sexton, a screen on DeRozan. Pass to Hendricks. To the middle. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Fox. Back come the Kings in transition. The pull-up day. Ooh, look at Fox using his speed. The quickness of Fox is something else. He pulls up on the spot, and the defense just can't stay with him. Back to George. Outside Sexton. This one for three. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got five assists in the game. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Now here's Fox. He's got 18. DeRozan outside. Pass to Murray. The three is up. Bottom. Free ball from Keegan. Yeah, this is the kind of confidence you love seeing. Murray not thinking twice at all about firing away. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. One nickname you hear for DeMar DeRozan is the lone mid-ranger. He said you can operate freely in the mid-range. It's like an ocean out there. If you're smart, you can take advantage of the space and pick teams apart. Brian? He's an expert tactician working in between. Thanks, Allie. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Here's Ellis. Takes the three. Trains the triple. Ellis has got his first three points of the game. What a read from DeMontis Sabonis. This guy's passing ability and vision is special. Collins with a screen on DeRozan. Down low. Collins, no good. Kings trail by four. Outside Murray. Sabonis outside. Deflects the pass. George with a steal. And he's going for the oop here. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. Now here's Sabonis. He's got 11. Pass to Fox. Six to shoot. Back to Murray. Let's go with a three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Murray's got eight. 
always ready to fire, <laughs> Murray brings a lot of value in catch-and-shoot situations. And here's Markkinen, defended by DeRozan. Outside for Sexton. Fires the three. That one is off. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Jazz. They lead by three. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. They're measuring up the shot. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Boy, it's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. George and Sexton in the backcourt. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Then there's John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the power forward. And that's the group for Will Hardy as we begin the second half. Jazz leading by three. George outside. Markkinen outside. Collins with a screen on Murray. Marking it from long range. They get it back. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. What growth from Lowry Market and Doris. The 2023 Most Improved Player Award winner. Yeah, you think about it. Markin and entered the league at just 20 years of age. You forget how young these guys are sometimes. But Markin and finds a great situation where he's a featured part of an offense, and then he makes an all-star team. Well, speed is such an important weapon for Colin Sexton. He gets to the mid-range game. Nice. Outside Murray. Back to Fox. Let's the three fly. Doesn't go there. Eight for 12. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Jazz. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. Fox, the pass to Murray. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Fox against George. 13 feet out. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Fox has got 20. And this is Fox at his best, slamming his foot on the gas pedal and scoring with confidence. Here's George. Basket's good. Yeah, and since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I gotta believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Now here's Sabonis. 11 points in the game. Well, to me, the size of Sabonis creates problems for the defense. You cannot be careless in how you guard this guy. This will be his third trip to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, 
That one's off. Good on the second one. Now here's George. Ten points for him. Outside Sexton. Pass to Hendricks. Marketed for three. The rebound by Murray. Kings trail by seven. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Fox with the ball. Clock at six. Fox beats him inside. A slick move. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one at a high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. And so Will Hardy calls for the timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. All right, fans. It's dance dance time. Get ready to dance. Let's get ah! Give yourself a round of applause. Top George. He's covered by Fox. DeRozan against Markinen. DeRozan brings the double. Four on the clock. The three. Sexton. The rebound by Murray. Kings trail by five. Here's Ellis. Inside. And here's Sabonis. Fox outside. Picked by Sabonis. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's Fox missing. Utah leading by five. Here's George. Hits the rim on the way in. And the bucket is good. George has got seven points for the quarter. And he's a crafty scorer for a young player. George is always going to find the gaps in the defense. Here's Fox. Oh, Fox pushing through the defense. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. For Utah, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Collins passes to Markinen. And it's off from three-point range. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass to Fox. Here's Ellis. Checked by Sexton. Back to Fox. Shoots over George. Ooh, nice work inside by Fox. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's George. Rebound by Sacramento. Now DeRozan. Seven points in the game. The three ball is good for Fox. I like it. Setting up Fox that time, getting him something in rhythm. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Utah Jazz. Pass to George. Over Fox. Utah with another miss. Sacramento has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Now here's Sexton. 11 points in the game. And the three-pointer goes. Sexton's got 14 points. And guys, for Colin Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. Here's Sabonis. Shoots over Collins. Sabonis can't hit. 
Cass leading by three. The three ball. It's hauled in by DeMar DeRozan. Out to the right wing. Three-pointer. Fox connects from downtown. Fox has got 32 points. Well, DeMar DeRozan finding his teammate with an on-time, on-target pass. Marketing the pass to George. Now Sexton. Pass to Hendricks. Now George. Here's Hendricks. Launches a three. Another shot. Markkinen. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Over Markkinen. And to Rosen with the basket. On the assist by Fox. Fox has got his fifth assist in this one. A tight game here in Utah. Outside Sexton. From 12 feet. Domas Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Fox the pass to Murray. Fox outside. Pass to Murray. Oh! Murray making his presence felt inside. Yeah, good work from the mid-range. This is why you let Murray do his thing from there. Outside Sexton to the inside. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. From 13. Goes back up. And again with the rebound. And he hauls in his 20th rebound. Oh, <laughs> just dominating the glass. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. So bonus is shot is off. Utah trailing here. Pass to Markkinen. Markkinen takes the bump and sinks the shot. Boy, Markkinen uses his size to great effect down low. Sacramento has gone two for five from three since halftime. So bonus outside. So bonus draws the double. Fox against George. From the high post. Fox, that's good. Fox has got 16 in the second half. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. George passes to Collins. Back to George. Over Fox. George, no good. The Kings shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. DeRozan, muscling in, DeRozan. And DeRozan, just so crafty on those moves, slips right through the contact for the finish. Outside Sexton. It's George on the drive. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. DeRozan passes to Fox. Murray up top. Ten points for him. Picked by Murray. Three-pointer. Fox. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number seven tonight. Sexton with it. 14 points for him. And that misses. That would have put him up. Here's Ellis. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Ellis has got five. I love watching Fox distribute the ball, knowing it's part of his role to involve his teammates. Here's Sexton. George, good. 16 points for him. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And it's Mike Brown calling timeout here. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan.
And his new crew getting ready for Utah. Kessler, he's checked in for John Collins. Sensiball comes in for Hendricks. Makai Luke's checked in for Sexton. And Jordan Clarkson subbed in for George. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. Lyles, he's checked in for Murray. Herter comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Malik Monk's checked in for Ellis. And it's McLaughlin in for Fox. One ten left in the third. A high arcing shot. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. The Jazz making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Free throw good. Herder. 107 left in the third. Jazz trail by five. Pass to Sensible. Williams with it. Six on the shot clock. Now Clarkson. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. They got to bring more fire than that to stop Clarkson. He's a pro at fending off tight defense. Sabonis draws the double. Lyles down low. Markkinen's there. Herder. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The officials were right on top of that one. This is his second trip to the free throw line in this one. Free throw good. Herder. Ellis is checked in for McLaughlin. Both free throws good for Herter. Jazz trail by five. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Clarkson outside. Shot from the low post is good. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. And so it's De'Aaron Fox making highlights for the Kings. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. All right, a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth quarter. Perimeter is filled up by Monk and DeRozan. Trey Lyles is out there with Alex Lynn, and it's Ellis in at the point guard. Here we go, one on one. Here's Monk. Good, and it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan's got his fifth assist in this one. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. 
and it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. First team foul. Marking it for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Bump for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Kessler's got four rebounds in the game. Williams on the wing. Monk covers. Williams passes to Clarkson. A miss. Out of eight shots, he's now made six. And there's the foul. It's on Malik Monk. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Clarkson finds Williams. It counts! And the foul! DeMar DeRozan picks one up. Man, what focus. I mean, the hoop and the harm. <laughs> Incredible. Second personal foul. And a closer look here Second at the scoring breakdown foul. for Sacramento. Well, even halftime, they couldn't slow them down. They've been hitting from the mid-range, though, all game long. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. And so DeRozan will bring it up for the Kings. The lead is two. Here's Ellis. He's covered by Clarkson. Shot clock at six. Pass to Lynn. Here's Ellis. Knocks down the triple. More than capable of knocking down that shot. He's not shot. Here's Sensible. Clarkson outside. For three. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Well, you can give them a steady diet of pick and roll because if Jordan Clarkson gets downhill, it's trouble. Outside Monk. Pass to Ellis. DeRozan with the ball. Williams defending. To the paint. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And look at how DeMar DeRozan tries to get the basketball around and trust his teammates. Love that he's allowing them to make plays. One shot. Jazz trail by five. Clarkson outside. Hauled in by the Kings. Here's Monk. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Clarkson. Pass to Kessler. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His first personal foul. Third team foul. No good on that one. And Sacramento making a change here. Herter's checked in. He does not get the second one. The Kings lead by seven. Spins. Kicks it to DeRozan. Over Marketing. Again, the Kings score. We 
are talking one of the most consistent, accomplished mid-range scorers in the NBA. DeRozan, it is effortless. Clarkson outside. They get the rebound. Kessler with a bucket. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Here's Ellis following the bucket by Utah. And it's DeRozan missing. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Here's Sinsabal. Pass to Clarkson. The three is up. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got his fourth rebound in this one. Down low. Here's Lynn. And it's blocked by Kessler. Outside, Williams. Now marketing. Here's Sensible. Monk covers. Fades. Kessler with a bucket. Now just a five-point Kings lead. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. The Kings have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Outside Monk. Ellis passes to Monk. They set the pick. Fires the three. Sacramento again missing. Utah's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Clarkson outside. There's the triple. Nice shot there, making him 8 for 13. Now Jordan Clarkson can be a little bit streaky at times, but right now this guy is on fire. Monk passes to Ellis. Back to Monk. Launches it. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Clarkson. To the middle. Oh, got a piece of it. Herder with it. Guarded now by Williams. Outside Monk. Inside. Ellis passes to Monk. Pass to Ellis. Back to Monk. Six to shoot. And here is DeRozan. Offline with a three. Here's Sensible. Monk covers. Clarkson, left side. Len pulls it in. Sacramento leading by five. Now here's DeRozan. Williams defending. And it's DeRozan missing. And Williams has got the ball here for the Utah Jazz. Pass to Clarkson. Now marketing. Herder defending. And it's going to be out of bounds with the Jazz retaining possession. A different look for Utah. Collins, he's checked in for Williams. Collins Sexton comes in for Sensabaugh. And it's George in for Clarkson. Marketing finds Collins. He drops it from range. Oh, and sometimes Collins makes this look so effortless, as if the three shot is just that easy. Box the pass to Murray. To the wing on the left. And here's Monk. Five to shoot. Launches it from deep. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his eighth rebound here tonight. George passes to Markinen to tie it up. They grab their own miss. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. And we'll have a timeout called by Mike Brown. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout, clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. Utah. 
And the Kings also making a change. DeRozan has checked in. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to the team. They said in the huddle, this is it. No excuses. Let's figure out a way to win. A couple of players spoke as well, firing up their teammates. A great ending could be in store, guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Fox. Picked by Sabonis. Takes a three. Utah grabs the miss. Collins has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. To the inside. Oh, a two-handed power slam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. To the middle. Here's DeRozan. Kamar working the lane. Now, DeMar DeRozan operating on the interior. So savvy, so crafty. Pass to Hendricks. Now here's Markkinen. Outside Sexton. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, you love the fearless nature of Colin Sexton. Forces the issue, gets himself to the free throw line. Free throw good from Sexton. All right, both free throws good from Sexton. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Here's DeRozan. Oh, you got to love that focus from DeMar. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Collins, high post. Working on Sabonis. Outside for Sexton. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Sexton's got nine points here in the second half. The Kings trailing. Box the pass to Ellis. Back to Fox. Shoots over George. And it's Fox missing. Utah has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. George outside. Inside. Here's Collins. Hauled in by the Kings. Now DeRozan. Down low. Here's Ellis. Yes. Great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got assist number eight here already in the game. Utah with the ball. Pass to Marketing. DeRozan brings the double. Here's Hendricks. Marketing outside. The three. Rebounded by Fox. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Oh, the bucket's good. And he'll have a chance at one more. That's on Colin Sexton. Oh, Fox doesn't shy away from important possessions. He wants to be the man for this team. George with it. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. Trailing by two. Here's Hendricks. Defended by Murray. Sexton looking around. Collins 
the screen. Four on the clock. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Oh, and that is how you make a bold statement. Overcoming that size differential and thrown it down. Pass to Markkinen. Over to Rosen. Kicks it out to Collins. No good on the three. Sacramento leading by four. Fox outside. It's tipped. Here's George. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Seeing the opening, George does not hesitate. I mean, just a great move. Here's Fox. There's another rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. Simply put, he will not be denied. DeRozan for three. And nails the tray. Oh, my goodness. You could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. And so, Will Hardy calls for the timeout. He wants to make sure they're purposeful with the game plan. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Marketin misses. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. And the shot's good. And the Kings lead by seven. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. And this is how you step up in the clutch. Sexton is ready to deliver in these moments. And so they choose to intentionally foul. one drops and that puts him up five and so both free throws good and it's a six point ball game well just knocking them down from the charity stripe extending the lead simple basketball and so will hardy calls for the timeout he is not messing around calling them into the hump Four seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Sexton. Money! What a beautiful shot! He brings it within three! Oh, how about that? Sexton with a huge bucket. A must hit. And he did. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the top. first one and that gives him a four-point cushion second one is good getting both at the line and it's a five-point game he's able to make it a two possession game with some solid work at the line right there George a deep three it's rebounded by Sabonis 
I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. George with it. The three from Sexton. Misses. And so it's Sacramento with the W. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And now, time for our player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.